Howdy friends, Vinyl Community, Wes here checking in with my September Vinyl Inbox. These are what, what I purchased musically in the month of September 2015. So, hope everyone had a great month going into the fall season here. I'm looking forward to, looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to some some change in the weather here a little bit and enjoying that. So hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a great day, great night. Whenever you're, whenever it is you're watching this, hope you're doing well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into these finds. First thing I want to talk about here is actually a book. This was a Kickstarter project that was launched based on a blog a while back, and uh, I didn't actually join in on the Kickstarter project for the book, but this has now been. Uh, published as a as a normal book, uh, and that is the the Dustin Grooves book, uh, based on the blog with the same name. This is uh, done by Elon Paz. He uh, went around and photographed and talked to record collectors all over the world, and uh, created this. This it started off as a blog and would you know feature different record collectors and uh, did uh, photographs of them and their collections and. And uh, you know, talked to them, interviewed them, created some really interesting photography uh, based on record collectors. So it was a really cool idea. Uh, to, you know, photography is something I'm passionate about. So you know, when it, when when I can sort of mix mix my passion with with uh, record collecting and photography, I think that's really cool. So I was glad that this is actually published as a uh, normal. Normal book, I actually pre-ordered this on Amazon quite a long time ago. Finally, it was just released in September, uh, or maybe at the end of August. Uh, but, you know, didn't I didn't get it till September, so uh, that was really cool. So, if you're looking for, if you were interested in this book before, but didn't, but missed out on it, uh, it's available now. You can go to, you know, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, wherever, wherever you want to go and look for books likely you're going to find this. So that was really cool. I'm glad to, I'm glad I actually was able to get a copy of this. Um, just an awesome, awesome book. Um, just wanted to show a couple CDs this month. I don't normally show CDs, but I thought this month I don't have a whole lot of records to show. So I just show a couple CDs I bought this month that I thought were, were interesting. Uh, the first one is Jewel's new album called Picking Up the Pieces. Uh, kind of a return to form for Jewel. Uh, this is uh, if you if you really liked her first album, her debut album. You know, this very sort of gut wrenching, emotional kind of songs. Uh, then you'll probably like this one. It's uh, it's definitely, as I said, a return to form for her and a, a good album. And I've only only had a chance to spin this a couple times, but so far I'm really enjoying it. So. The second CD I bought this month is the new album from Scarface. This is titled Deeply Rooted. I just read his autobiography a couple months ago, saw this in the stores and wanted to grab it. Thought that was uh, cool and definitely a good Scarface album. This is There's some great songs on here. Yeah, definitely if you're a Scarface fan, don't don't sleep on this. This is, this is really, there's some really good work on here. And last but definitely not least, uh, something we went on a trip to Orlando earlier in the month. Uh, went to one of my favorite record stores in Orlando, which is Park Avenue CDs. Uh, picked up a few records, but also picked up a copy of the soundtrack to the movie Interstellar. Oh, just an amazing movie. One of those, it was one of those sort of once in a decade life changing kind of movies for me. It's been a long time since I've seen a movie that really affected me as deeply as this movie did. It's it's a, an incredible movie. It's it's very deep. It it deals with a lot of sort of uh, spiritual issues, death issues, life after, or sort of you know the heaven and and, and sort of that idea of what happens after we die. And it, uh, it's a really powerful movie. I really love the movie, and I love, love, love the soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack heavily features a pipe organ, which is probably my favorite interest instrument of all times. I love pipe organs. I just love that just raw, just huge sound that they create. And, and when you hear a pipe organ, it, 
live. It's just, uh, it's, it's an experience. And I just, I love pipe organ music and it's something you have to kind of experience live, but uh, the soundtrack heavily features a pipe organ and it, I love the soundtrack, Hans Zimmer soundtrack. Uh, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. The CD here, it's pretty neat. They made a uh, they made the CD into a star chart, so you can sort of rotate the rotate the CD around and see what the um, the stars you'll see in the sky, depending on the time and date and all that stuff. And yeah, just as I said, an awesome soundtrack. Um, I do in this album. This soundtrack is available on vinyl. They didn't have it at Park Avenue, uh, and I do intend to buy this on vinyl um, at some point, pretty soon, probably. Just because, as much as I've been listening to this CD, this next pickup is something I picked up the night before the record show. Uh, my last video was the, uh, the Gainesville record show. And I went by here again CDs or here again music. Uh, the night before and dug through their sort of new used arrival bins and found a copy of In a Priest Driven Ambulance by the Flaming Lips as part of the reissued done reissue series of their early music done by Plain Recordings. 1990 release here. I believe this is their fourth album maybe. So found that used for 16 bucks. Thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, it is pressed on pink vinyl. Two LP set. Just a really nice marbled pink vinyl. And actually the owner of the store did let me know that these have gone out of print. They've been in print for a number of years now, but uh, they are now out of print. So if you want any of these uh, plain recordings reissues, grab them, grab them if you can because uh, they're going to be going away. So got another one of those. I think I'm, think I'm only missing one more of these. Uh, telepathic surgery, I think, is the one I'm missing. I need to get. But adding to the Flaming Lips collection. Uh, okay, so the vinyl I actually picked up at Park Avenue CDs while we were in Orlando. Uh, first thing I've got here is a 7-inch. This is one of the Record Store Day side-by-sides. Uh, they had this marked at, I think it was $3 or $4. Um, and I, I didn't know what it was. They had it taped shut. So I just bought it you know, just like you would on record store day, not knowing what it was. So I thought that was kind of cool and I got a, got a good price on it. And this happens to be the Ico Ico release. Uh, so we got Grateful Dead's Ico Ico. Uh, and on the other side, we have uh, Dr. John and the Dixie Cups. So there's actually three tracks on here, three versions of Ico Ico. And uh, I was glad I bought this. I was really, I was really happy with what I got. So that was a cool pickup for a couple bucks. I don't often buy seven inches, and I do like the, the color on this one is really cool too. Uh, then I picked up a couple LPs at Park Avenue. The first one I picked up is the Budos Band, Burnt Offering. Now the Budos Band is the backing band for a lot of the artists on Daptone Records. But this is de de very, very different from, from what you might typically hear on Daptone, a Daptone release. This is a lot more heavy, a lot more almost psychedelic. Really cool. Instrumental music. There's no words here. It's all instrumental. Uh, the artwork sort of gives gives away the sort of feeling of the record. Fits really well. And I really love I really love this. I've been listening to it digitally for a while and wanted it on vinyl and glad to glad to finally have it on vinyl. There's the gatefold. Uh, next thing I picked up is a Jay-Z album that was actually released in 2013, I believe, uh, but is available for the first time on vinyl this year, uh, and that is Jay-Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail. It's the gatefold. This was pressed by Third Man Records, so it is pressed at United. They did really an interesting packaging on here. Uh, really nice heavy Stoughton jacket with the, uh, the sort of the glossy printing. I forget what that's called, UV printing or something. Um, and actually in the, I don't know if it's gonna be able to show up here. Get the, you see there's a bump here in the back cover. Um, if you actually cut this out, there is a flexi postcard in here with a, with a bonus track. Um, I'm not actually going to open this and remove it. There is a video here on YouTube if you want to hear that where somebody has opened it up and played that. So uh, you can hear it if you want it, but 
I do love Jay-Z and I thought this was a good album from him and enjoyed it and wanted to pick it up just because of the unique packaging and um, do have a few Jay-Z pieces on vinyl. So keep that. All right, next thing we got is a, uh, another reissue of one of the Can albums. This one is Future Days. This is one of the spoon reissues, really nicely done. Um, got the embossing on the cover which is really nice and really nicely pressed and uh, yeah, really happy with this. This come with an insert, which gives you a big bit of history on the album and the band. Um, cans, future days, adding to the can collection slowly, but surely. Uh, next thing I got here is the only new release for September that I bought. Actually, it might not. It might have been an August re release, but I bought it right at the beginning of September, and that is the new Beach House album, Depression Cherry. And this is really, really cool. It has a flocked cover, uh, so kind of like a Bee Gees Odessa cover. It's very fuzzy and textured, and yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, my lighting is so dark today, but hopefully, I can bring it up some in post, but. Uh, a really great album, another great album by Beach House. If you like the last album, you're going to like this one as well. Uh, you know, just say, more of the same kind of stuff. Really beautiful, lush, dreamy, pop kind of music. So, uh, and this is the Loser Edition first run, and they ran it on clear vinyl. Uh, and this last little stack I got here are some dollar bin pickups from Arrow's Aim Records. Just went in there one day. Uh, sometime on a weekend, sometime just wanted to go for a dig and pulled out a bunch of dollar records. Uh, first album I got here is by Roachford, kind of a, a, a mid 80s uh, R&B type artist. Uh, so that was really cool. I really did enjoy this. Sounds, sounds really great and uh, good songs and uh, enjoyed that quite a bit. Next up I got McGinnis and Flint. Sort of an, an English folk kind of band. A Tam Motown compilation here. Uh, what makes this one interesting is it is a German pressing. So I thought that was that was neat and a nice collection of uh, 14 songs here. You know, classic classic Motown type stuff. And like I said, I mainly just grabbed this because it is a, a German pressing, and they. Uh, they do a really good job with, with their pressings, so I know this is going to sound good, and I have actually played this already, and yes, it does sound uh, very good, very quiet, and plays great, so that was definitely worth a dollar pickup. Bob Dylan's Empire Burlesque, 1985. Uh, Randy Weston, self-titled on PA USA. Some nice piano jazz there. Santana's self-titled. Not sure why I picked this up. I know I already have this, but thought maybe it would possibly be an upgrade. It's just something I couldn't help leave behind for a dollar. Uh, here's a pretty cool one. This is the best of Gil Scott Heron, uh, but it does feature a, a, a track that was previously unreleased called Rerun. So I thought that was a cool pickup for a buck. Glad to glad to have that. I do love Gil Scott Heron, and I don't have everything, of course, so it's cool to have sort of a greatest hits to put on. And the last thing I got was a still sealed album here. This is by Rapper's Convention. It is self-titled. It says Featuring the Wiggle, which I don't really remember that song, but we'll see how it is when I play it, when I open it up. So yeah, those are my pickups from September 2015. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're having a great October. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me some comments. Give me a thumbs up, whatever it is you can do. I thank you again, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.